I'm don't ask me from Tennessee, but we all we're all from Tarpon Springs, Florida, is where our troop is from. The area is uh, uh, what can you say? Uh, it's uh, full of recreational opportunities here. You know, it's uh, you know on the same scale I think is you know the Rocky Mountains. If yeah. you just look for stuff to do, a lot of fishing, a lot of hiking, a lot of outdoor, a lot of water sports here, especially kayaking, all around, just about all year round, pretty much. We're going up into, uh, it's called uh, Walnut Bottom Campground, uh, up near the Appalachian Trail, and then we're going to finish out tomorrow on the Appalachian Trail, uh, Mount Kumamur, uh, Kumamur, something like that, uh -huh. so we're going to go to that direction and come back down. And that's up the Big Creek Trail, Up Big right? Creek, loop back around. So total uh, trip length, uh, we should be doing about 16, 17 miles total. Great, wow. Yeah. A little bit farther east, south, uh, southeast of here, uh, they've reintroduced the uh, elk to the area, which were uh, native to this area some time ago before they started losing the forest from deforestation from all the logging. But now they're back and they've got, I think I heard them say, I don't know how many head they have, but they're all radio tagged. And they've been doing that since 02. And then they uh, uh, did some more in 04. So, you know, and it's not too far from here. Cool. It's part of the park. Can you tell me a little bit about why you like camping and being out in the park? Because it's fun and <laughs> the great outdoors is fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? It's better than being at home. Oh, okay. I like fishing. Oh, have you caught anything? No, I've caught yeah, two little have. fish. Oh. Just two, but. Did you <laughs> do you have to release them or? I do. I don't like keeping them. Yeah. I like protecting the ecosystem. Yeah, I agree. Can you tell me your names? My, I'm, I'm Carrie. Carrie. Mm -hmm. I'm Tammy. Tammy. Nice to meet you. Me too. <laughs> we went, well, we walked back and, and checked out the, the falls and, and yeah. the water. And we've gone back in through um, a bunch of the, the hills and just looking at the old barn houses. Right. Is that in Cades Cove? Or is That's that? Maggie Valley. Yeah. You make, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful old farmhouses and stuff back in there. Yeah. Oh, Went to find some moonshiners. <laughs> they found some. Did you really? Sure enough. Did you try any? Sure did. Matter of fact, <laughs> I got a picture. Yeah, he was uh, He was one of the most, uh, he's a legend, living legend, and he lived uh, in Maggie Valley. And uh, he just passed last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's his name? Popcorn Sutton. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we got to meet his wife, and uh, and it's good. That their house is gonna be turned into a museum, and she let us look at it and take some pictures. And, wow. Yeah. So is that open right now for tourists or no? No, no. We um, actually we through a lot of research, um, three years worth. Um, you know, we're able to uh, to come and and track her down and talk to some of her relatives and kind of work his way up. To being able to meet her yesterday it was it was really neat so that's kind of what we were doing for a few days and, and she only had um like one jar of his original moonshine left it was like half half full hmm. and uh, and she let us each take a taste this is popcorn sutton hello my name is al this is matt with p coaches okay. we eat a nature valley two at least two bars every single day for lunch at our school and we're also triathletes, okay, so we, uh, we're runners also, so we, that's like one of our, our main, uh, our main food, the Nature Valley Bar. Uh, so we're walking around the park today, and uh, I told my friend, let's have a Nature Valley moment. <laughs> so we just sat down, we looked at the, at the view, and we <laughs> ate a bar. We brought, I brought like 12 bars uh, to, to use for our for a coming trip because they fill me up and they're healthy. Convenient. And they're, yeah, they're convenient. You can take them anywhere. And to me, they're like the best bars in the market. Cool. Awesome. Right, yeah, well, the Smoky Mountains is like, number one, it's accessible to us in the, in the southern states. And they're like, they're so beautiful that we don't have to go as far. Um, we can drive to them. Okay. They stand up in 6,000 6, plus feet. Um, we love, you know, all the, the trails, they lead you to different sceneries, um, the, 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 lookout, the lookout views are, are gorgeous, yeah. um, so 
it's it's just an amazing place to come on three four days and you know, the see wildlife. The wildlife is nice too. We saw an elk. Yeah. We saw elk has been introduced in the park. Uh, possibly a bear. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it was so dark though. There have been uh, a lot of uh, sightings of bears, and just to be out here is like it's like heaven. Um, we can call it any other way. Your names again for the camera? Gail, Haley, and Blake. Okay. And you, so <laughs> how are you, how do you all know each other? This is my grandmother. And this is my sister and my grandmother. And mom's back there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still so tell me about the day that you guys had today. Definitely a longer hike than I was quite expecting. <laughs> so, we got out there. Um, we started up. It looked like it was gonna be a nice day all the way up, and we get about a mile away from the camp, and it started lightning and thundering and pouring the rain. So that was kind of interesting working the cliffs in the rain and lightning. Holding like steel cables. <laughs> right. <laughs> Grandma's a big fan of the steel cables. <laughs> Don't fall much when you're holding one of those. Try not to. No. <laughs> Yeah. And then, where are you guys staying tonight? We're in the lodge. At the lodge. And I've never been to the lodge. Can you tell me a little bit about it? It's kind of a cool place way up here on top of the mountain. you got to hike all the way into it. It was built way back in the early 1900s, and it's kind of been a place where pe hikers can stay the night ever since. So it's been no kind power. Of, it's, not, it's, 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 it's pretty rustic. It's kind of like where my grandfather used to live up on the mountain. It's got no power and no running water. So. Except in the bathroom. So I just think not many people have done it. Right. So you guys are definitely an outdoorsy family. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, we it's... like indoor stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> These two do a lot more of the indoor stuff. They like to cook and stuff. I'm more just He's outdoor stuff. Always outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Fishing, hunting, and just about anything that you can do outside. So, so but we've done a lot of dinosaur digs and stuff like that. Not as much in the, this part of the country, more out west. But there's a great area for hiking and any kind of outdoor activity you want to do: camping, exploring. The waterfalls are great. Water. If you like to go caving. Thank you guys for sharing it. We're really hoping to get people out to the parks to enjoy them and want to protect them. And I think it really helps to hear stories of how much fun it is to go camping. And mm -hmm. even when things don't go the way that you think that <laughs> 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 they will. That's, that's the fun. The unpredictability. Or at least that's some of the fun. If you knew exactly what was going to happen, it probably wouldn't be worth coming up and getting all the tired and the dirty, but it's you know, just the adventure of it. So. <laughs> How is that chin feeling, by the way? Okay, as long as I don't let rest on it. <laughs> it's fine. Grandma took a little bit of a spill on the way up. She Not could have turned around right there, but she wanted to get up to the lodge, days. so she came on up. So. Wow, I'm impressed. Thank you, guys. You're welcome.